Hello, beautiful people. Story time. My life after death, a memoir from heaven. Chapter 15, adjusting to timelessness. Adjusting to time not being linear like it is on earth. That was weird. It's just, it's just that as a spirit, I can't get myself to live in the past or focus on the future. Time stands still here. Like, you know, um, time is, linear time is a human construct because we need it. We need cause and effect. We need to get up in the morning, go to work, eat breakfast, whatever. We need linear time. Uh, we need to first be born, grow up, die. Not necessarily in that order, just kidding. All right, anyway, it's sort of uh, what I like to call stacked. What I mean by that is that in heaven, every moment is stacked on top of each other, not laid out in a straight line. Here, time is like a big ball of yarn instead of a single straight thread. So cool. It doesn't just zip by for me like it did on Earth. I never have to check in and think, shit, I missed that. It was like an alien abduction moment when I was plucked out of the perspective of linear Earth time. At first, I had to help myself adjust by creating small linear experiences that I could pick and choose. For instance, I'd repl replicate the whole nighttime follows daytime cycle so I could feel like I was experiencing normal days on Earth. If I want to, though, I could make it daytime all the time here, which is pretty cool. You do get used to timelessness eventually, but it takes some doing. When I was adjusting to the stacked time, I did feel disoriented and overwhelmed for a while, but then I learned to narrow my, uh, my focus so that I didn't have to see all the linear time that humans create on Earth all at once. Think about riding a bike. At first, you had to pay attention to everything in the sequence, like where on the pedal to put your feet, how to push the pedal to move forward, to make it go forward, and how to balance the bike so you don't do a face plant, like I have often done. Anyway, when you have that all down, everything becomes automatic, you're not, and you're not uh, aware of all those individual steps anymore. Now I can stuff all the other extraneous shit into my unconscious awareness so it doesn't fuck with what I, I want to pay attention to consciously. Everything else becomes background noise. When I focus on one point in time, all the other moments I, I was accustomed to as a human, past, present, and future, becomes like a whisper, something that's in the back of my mind. I think we'll stop here. We'll do the rest of the adjusting to timelessness the next time. So be sure you uh, follow me on TikTok. Hopefully that's going to be up for a while. And I will talk to you later. Alisa, Dr. Alisa Medhus, AtlantaScalar.com and ChandlingEric.com.